All right, hello, hello, YouTube. How y'all doing today? <clears throat> I ain't too much putting too many beer videos out there since I've been brewing my own beer. So I told you I'd show you a couple of my knives all while back. Well, this is a UST survival knife. Has paracord. I like to take it when I go kayaking. Pretty good knife just to clean the fish. Some little charades. It's just a standard you know but, but I usually put it in my survival bag it wouldn't be one of my go to's to, you know it, it would save you life if it had to but You can skin a squirrel or throw it with it. You can tell it ain't been open too many times. And it has a flint and steel rod in it. Starting your fires. Use the back of the knife or the front of the knife, whichever. You see, I tried it. I said it's just a just one somebody's give me. All right, now what we're gonna show y'all is a. Heritage Manufactured Incorporated. Rough Rider Single Action Revolver. Caliber 22 Long Short. CB Short 22 WMR Mag. And 32HR Mag. 32SW. 32SW Long. The barrel was 3.5 inches by... Four and three quarters by six and a half or nine. Depends on which one you get. The weight is 34 ounces. The finish is blue. The action is single. The capacity is six shot or nine shot cylinder. This is the six. <clears throat> Mother of Pearl, uh, or lam lamin laminates, however you say it. Sights is open. Features manual, hammer block. First thing, if everybody has kids, they ought to own one of these. It is, you put in between the trigger and the hammer, the trigger, so you can't, so you can't fire it. Got a side on the side, it opens up where it pushes your bullets out. Pull it back one time. 
pull it back twice and it spins. The first time is a is a right, if I pull it back like that I can't shoot it. It's a, it's a double lock. It's a double safety. You have another safety over here that flips up. And that won't let it shoot. It's down. It has another bear uh, cylinder for longs. This is for shorts. And this is for longs, magnums. What you do is when you shoot it, you push that back, and you spin it, and you shoot that back, spin it, shoot that back, spin it, shoot that back, spin it. There's a little lever over here. And as you see, it comes out right here and it pushes the 22 bullet out. If you see it, it's got a little gap in between it right there. Well, when you take the safety off, and you take the other safety off, see, you ain't got no gap right there. So that's what let it, lets it fire. Alright, to take this cylinder out, to take the other cylinder out, you have this little... This little button here. It's a little pin. And what you do is, I can't see because I'm on the wrong side, but you have this little rod that sticks up in there. And you pull the trigger back. And it slides out. I'm doing all this backwards. I don't know how to do it the other way. And then all you do is you just pop the cylinder back in there. You just kind of mess with it just a little bit. Then this goes back in this hole. And you mash this button again. And it slides up in there. Do it again, you mash this button, you pull this pin, you push this open, this falls out. You take another full one, you can tell it ain't never been used that much. But it is tight. You can take you put that back in the hole. And if it was loosened up and being used a lot, you could slap, you could take one out and slap one in. People take and file them down and that way they just slide right in, slide right out. All you got to do is
nice little gun. Nice little gun to play with, practice with. We don't play with no firearms, but just good little gun to, you know, target practice with. And if you had another one ready in your in your holster, you just slap it in, close the thing, push the button, you're ready to go. Made in America. Heritage Firearms. Cheers, YouTube. Have a good one.